before you were born, your atoms and molecules, and all kinds of other creatures, mm -hmm. how much fun had, did you freaking have <laughs> being in all those other life forms on this planet? I mean, I mean, swirling through the biosphere and having a blast. Mm -hmm. Having a blast trying to evolve so you could have better eyes and, you know, trying to evolve so you could have a little better wings and stuff like that. Trying to uh, find the perfect mate and stuff like that. Checking out this and even the most simple creatures check out other mates. Yeah. And they say, not quite. There's one little blob that's, you know, if we're talking a... Micro, uh, a small critter or something like that, they check out each other in with birds and bugs and all that, each other so much because they want to have, hey, I'm going to have a fun time. I know my kids have fun time. I want them to be robust so they can have fun yeah. too. So the thing is, is we could lose all that fun. And we don't know how fast we could lose that fun. And so um, that's why I'm going to ask you to say, you know what? I'm going to fight for fun. I'm going to start giving 3.3 .3 hours a day to save our planet so I can have fun now. And so all my cells that I don't even tell me how much fun they're having. But they are having so much fun. There's a lot to fight for. A lot of fun to fight for. And, and if you will, you know, keep being vegan. And keep going for vegan. Keep using a clothesline. Keep helping candidates get elected that will help make the world a better place. Keep sacrificing a high paying job that's killing the planet for a lower paying job that helps you keep having fun time after time after time. It's not a thousand and one things you should do before you die that includes air travel <laughs> because it's usually that. No, it's a thousand and one things you do in your life to have fun and so that you can be a thousand and one awesome cool critters in the future or plants or whatever. It's a cool way to sleep better because mm -hmm. your cells are going hey i'm working for fun i'm working for a future i'm not just spinning it all now i'm not just i'm respecting i'm respecting life oh could you give some examples of like what you do 3.3 .3 hours a day to oh, go yeah. back to the appointment yeah i will i i happy to thanks mm -hmm. a lot yeah um um one of the examples is to work with teams, organizations that are helping the planet because teams work. So find Greenpeace Sierra Club. If you want to organize gardens in your area, just next doors and stuff like that, to get people to do more gardens. Of course, you should have your own small garden, even if it's small, just in the window. But we should all have a garden. We should. But you have the power to talk to a friend and say, hey, you know what? I'll do a cartwheel for you if you start eating vegan. And make I'll tell it you, personal. Yeah. Oh, and, fuck yeah. And I'll, and I'll make, tell you my favorite joke. And I will give you an award. <laughs> or you can say, I'll, there's a lot of things you can do. Hand massage, a tea. <laughs> if, it's, if it's somebody, you, if it's your partner, you say, hey, uh, you know, special perks. If you, uh, if you don't eat meat all week long and, you know, or something like that or or you uh, donate to uh, if you donate to 350.org or Extinction Rebellion this week if you do that you know I'm just going to be sweet with you sweet is, it, it, it's just going to be a special gift mm -hmm. and because we need to mo motivate people I mean imagine if if guys were um you know, riding their bikes through the rain and stuff like that. They're partners. Dude, that was awesome. I am totally going to give you a full body massage <laughs> for, ride, for riding a bike. Mm -hmm. Or I'm totally going to uh, take you out for a beer, you know, and just to thank you for, for riding your bike all week, even in the snow. Because every gallon of gasoline not burned helps save eight square meters of habitat somewhere in the world for one year. Oh. Every gallon of gasoline burned stays in the atmosphere for about a thousand years. And just the infrastructure alone that doesn't have to do with climate change, even if you, you don't have to believe in climate change, every gallon of gasoline you don't burn helps save eight square meters of habitat somewhere in the world for one, in one year. Eight square meters where, you know what's happening probably in that eight square meters? A whole lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're depriving that place of fun when you burn unnecessary fossil fuels. Of course, actually, we shouldn't be burning any now. 
unfortunately. Mm. Any. But, and I don't burn very much at all. You know, I burned, I think, um, well, I burned no gallons of gasoline this year. Eight gallons last year. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you not own a car? I do. Okay, you I just, just take the battery out. Oh, yeah. okay. And I still have friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I don't drive that much, and I catch a ride and then carbon offset or something like that. So, so some of the things you can do is get other people to do kind things for the planet in return for what you do. You can uh, join a campaign to get somebody elected. You oh, let's say you have a job choice that doesn't seem like it's really contributing incredibly to the planet. Mm -hmm. Tell your friends you're going to become the sustainability coach where you work. Who promises here? Who promises here that no matter where they work, no matter what their job is, they'll also be the sustainability coach in their career. I, I'll try. To yeah, I'll try. You will. Yeah. yeah. Always a good thing to bring into an office workplace. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. In when I graduate. I think there's maybe a forty-five percent ch chance. No, a twenty percent chance that we can lose forty-five percent of all the life by 2024. Mm -hmm. But maybe there's a 1 in 500 chance that we could lose 45% of all of this year. We really don't... I mean, we are playing. You see so many animals that went extinct in Australia. They oh, did. yeah. Yeah. And yet, where, where are all the people saying, oh, I'm not going to drive anymore. That's it, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. we need way more. A lot of people are. In fact... In fact, there's been a billion people <laughs> that have done a lot of things for the planet. Mm -hmm. you, th you want to say something? Yeah, <laughs> I do. You know, we would have a really crappy day today if there wouldn't have been 500 million heroes for the planet already. People using their clotheslines, being farmers, organic farmers. People getting laws that get bicycles legal in certain places. People promoting veganism and being vegan activists out there. People spray painting to get people to divest. It would be a crappy day, I think, if there were already, if there weren't already, I remember, 500 million heroes already. And by saying, you know what? I've heard about some of those heroes and they've had pretty good lives. Yeah, they had to work harder and they maybe not didn't have as much stuff or money and such but but they bought us these days and if you want to if you want to if you want to stand on the shoulders of 500 million heroes that have bought you this day that's a good way to say it. I like that you're doing all right you. 